already heard me outline why this is such an important project for New Zealand but obviously from uh, the perspective of Pacific priorities making sure that we are investing now in those initiatives that are going to give us climate resilience climate resilience to of course the uh, changing environment uh, to severe weather events to potentially increased drought is incredibly important for us as a region it also allows the preservation of uh, biodiversity which is important to all of us just to uh, reflect then on the morning uh, as well, I had the chance to meet with the President of Palau in a bilateral meeting which was an excellent opportunity to meet face to face. He and I have had a phone conversation um, before uh, but really good to discuss uh, events since that time and obviously we've had uh, issues within Micronesia for some time, uh, the super agreement on the table, a chance to check in. Uh, on members from within the region and their satisfaction with the, uh, uh, the agreement that has been reached. I also had an opportunity here this morning as the Pacific Island Forum members from the likes of the World Bank, the Asia uh, Development Bank, the IMF on their projections around uh, the impact of uh, uh, pressures on the global economy uh, and the likely impact on our region. Very similar themes. Uh, reflecting on the war in Ukraine, exacerbating energy prices, the impact of inflation, supply chain constraints and of course COVID lockdowns in China and the impact that will have on the region. What came through as a really strong theme was a desire from members within the region to build greater energy resilience, to move away as much as possible from the reliance we have on fossil fuels because of course uh, the price impacts that that has, they're increasingly becoming unaffordable um, but also the fact that that offers an opportunity for climate um, mitigation as well. I expect that will be one of many themes that comes through the Pacific Island Forum. It'll be great to see us as a forum make progress and set some aspirations as a region for greater energy resilience. Uh, for casting forward, um, obviously a number of bilaterals over the coming days, Prime Minister Sogavare um, and uh, of course a bilateral with as chair, uh, the Prime Minister of Fiji as well, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, happy now to take questions. That's emerging in well actually, um, uh, at the time that concerns were raised and keeping in mind this has been an issue over the course of the better part of uh, two years, uh, these, these were issues that actually I discussed with uh, the President some time ago, when they first arose and when there was the issue of Micronesia talking about potentially withdrawing from the Pacific Island Forum, that was when I first canvassed those issues and, and sought to speak to a number of members from Micronesia to better. Well actually, um, uh, at the time that concerns were raised and keeping in mind this has been an issue over the course of the better part of uh, two years, uh, these, these were issues that actually I discussed with uh, the President some time ago, when they first arose and when there was the issue of Micronesia talking about potentially withdrawing from the Pacific Island Forum, that was when I first canvassed those issues and, and sought to speak to a number of members from Micronesia to better understand those issues and how we could support resolution. So today, it was actually a follow-up conversation. It was a chance to check in on uh, the Suva agreement, whether or not that from um, Palau's perspective had had met the needs, their view, um, uh, well actually it's not for me to speak on behalf of anyone, but you can see from the fact that the Suva agreement has come forth from a number of members of Micronesia that we have now the potential to agree uh, and to move on collectively with those new arrangements in place.